another month, another TBR. Let's go. <laughs> with my May TBR. Like always, I have to give a little story about this TBR, but in April, I was actually very dissatisfied with my reading taste. I felt like everything was like a three star or kind of lower. So I am looking to turn this around and have an awesome May. And let me just tell you, I am like super stoked about my May TBR. I feel like I have Everything on my TBR, I'm like really excited to read. So there's nothing that I like want to put off till the end. There's nothing, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm just super excited. I can't wait to talk about these books with you. Like always, I'm going to talk about my book club pick. If you didn't know, I have an online book club here on my channel. It's called Sleep When I'm Dead Book Club. And every month I have a backlist thriller that me and a co-host will read together. And then we will come on a live show to discuss all the details about it. And play a few games here or there. This month I will have Ashley from Ashley's Little Library co-hosting with me. I'm so excited to have her back here on my channel. She did a reading sprint with me and I felt like we just had the greatest time ever. But we will be reading The Good Lie by A.R. Torre. I'm going to have the date listed right here. I've had this on my TBR for a little bit and I know Ashley picked this one for my book club so I'm really excited to read this one and actually get me to read it. Also it's like a super short book. I think it's like under 260 pages. This one says Psychiatrist Gwen Gwen Moore is an expert on killers. She spent a decade treating California's most depraved predators and unlocking their motives. Predators like the notorious Bloody Heart serial killer, whose latest teenage victim escaped and then identified local high school student Randall Thompson as his captor. That's all I'm going to give you. I feel like that's enough to really hook you. So I'm really excited. I want to read more about serial killers. So I felt like this is going to be the perfect one. Next, I want to get into some of the books I don't physically have in front of me. The first one is going to be It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I know. We're all shocked. Jesse's picking up a romance. But I have a, I have a story and I have a reason. So I don't know what it is, but I have a friend slash coworker and she's been like really into romance recently. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it like transferred the feelings over to me. I have no idea. But I picked up Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey at like Walmart. It was like on clearance for some reason. I have no idea. Got home and realized it's book two in this like it happened one summer series i can't remember the exact name of the series but i know it happened one summer is the first book in the series so i feel obligated to read that one before i read this one so i don't physically have it with me i did get a phone call from my library so it is available for me to pick up today so that will be on my list today and this will also be another like honorable mention if I liked that one and want to continue with the series. I'll pick up Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Next, I want to mention The Missing by Kirsten Moglen. This is one of my favorite authors I've recently discovered within the past year. My friend Jacqueline is actually hosting her Thrill to the Weekend readathon, and this is actually the perfect book for me. I'm not sure the exact date, but I know this will be going on like during a bachelorette trip that I will be going on. My sister is getting married in June. We're having a bachelorette trip and I know we're going out on a boat. Do you see the similarities there? From what I gathered, it's given me kind of like Reckless Girls vibes by Rachel Hawkins. It's about like these, I think it's like five strangers. They take a boat trip and then like they either get stranded on an island or they get dumped on an island and then things start happening. I felt like this is really fitting for me. One, I love this author. The arrangement is still one hands down one of my favorite thrillers to recommend. Two, I'm going on a bachelor trip where we will be going on a boat. So this will be a very interesting read and I'm definitely hoping that the bachelor trip won't interfere with my reading schedule. So if not, you'll definitely see a vlog about this. Okay, so let's get into the rest of the books. I have The Collective by Allison Galen. I saw this as a book of the month pick, and to be honest, I was not interested in it. It didn't sound that interesting, but I've heard nothing but good things. I mean, very small amount of good things, but like people who have mentioned it said they really loved it. I know my friend Haley just recently read it, and then I also know my friend Lena who just started a booktube channel. I know this is like one of her favorites so I definitely want to see like what the buzz is about and I got this for free because I found it at a free little library. From what I can remember about the synopsis I think it's about a woman who's like 
I think it's a teenage daughter, maybe she's older, but was murdered recently. And then there's like this like black web or like this like online mom's group where it seems like it's like a griefing situation, but it's actually like a hitman club. I have no idea. I'm probably butchering the synopsis all wrong, but I've heard nothing but good things. So I really want to see what the buzz is about. Another thriller that I want to pick up is going to come as a shock, but I've heard nothing but good things about this one, but it is Insomnia by Sarah Pemberrow. Now, if you know anything about me, I am one of the very few people who did not like Behind Her Eyes. I will say it has an amazing plot twist. However, the whole like unrealistic thing that happens in that book is just one thing I don't like in books like you can also read The Shadows by Alex North that has the exact same thing in it and I'm not a fan of that but this one does pique my interest so this follows a woman who I think is about to turn 40 and like when her mom was 40 she started going insane and couldn't sleep she had insomnia and I think she ended up passing away so now she's approaching this and she's starting not to be able to sleep sounds really interesting I like the whole like sleep element to it so this should be a very interesting read so it is my library copy so I do have to read this pretty soon so I don't know maybe I might do a reading vlog maybe like a second chance with Sarah Pembroke and if that goes well I also picked up Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pembroke again I haven't really heard anyone talk about this one everyone just talks about behind her eyes and recently insomnia so if I liked insomnia I picked up this one to do like a second chance author taste test who knows we'll see what happens we'll see but I'm not really sure about this one I think this one has to do with a mom and her daughter they kind of have like a secret life because something happened in the mom's past something happens to where the daughter is like goes viral or like there's something on the news where it like spreads like wildfire and I know the mom's past comes back to like haunt her I have no idea that's all I really know but hopefully these two books by Sarah Pembroke won't let me down. Speaking of Haley from Haley Hughes, I picked up One Italian Summer just because she raved about this book. And to be honest, I don't know if I was like emotional about it or whatnot, but I am so looking forward to this one. This is a contemporary fiction. I know, I know, Jessie's all over the place with the romance, the contemporary, the thrillers, and I have a horror pick in here as well. So I'm just switching it up. This one just I feel like is really going to tear me apart because I am so close to my mom and this has a really touching mother-daughter relationship dynamic in the book. So this follows our main character. Her mother recently passed away and they were planning a trip to Italy because her mom always talked about her trip to Italy and how it was the best trip of her life and it was right before she met our main character's father. But now her mother has passed away, so she decides to take a solo trip to Italy. And I don't know if it's like magical realism or whatnot, but she runs into her mom. Like, I don't know if she like time travels to like when her mom was in Italy or if like their her mom just like magically appears in like present day. I don't know, but I I feel like this is going to break my heart because I love my mom. I feel like we've kind of struggled this past year with her health. So I feel like this is really going to tug on my heartstrings and I'm actually ready for it. So and it's a really, really short hardback book. So I'm really excited to read this one. All right, I mentioned there was a horror book in this TBR. So I have Within These Walls by Naya Alborn. This was on my last month's TBR. I did unfortunately not get to this one. But I do want to read this one. It is probably my thickest book on my TBR. I think it's a little over 400 pages. But this one just sounds so good. Um, I kind of forgot what it's about already, even though I just read the synopsis in my last month. With his marriage on the rocks and his life in shambles, washed up true crime writer Lucas Graham is desperate for a comeback. One more shot at the best-selling success he once enjoyed. His chance comes when he's promised an exclusive access to death row inmate Jeffrey Holcomb. The notorious cult leader and mass murderer who's ready to break his silence after 30 years and who's contacted Lucas personally from his maximum security cell. So, okay, so I'm actually really nervous to read this one now that I've reread this. So here recently, I feel like all I've read in like thrillers and other books is like cults, 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 cults. Like I'm 
almost kind of like sick of the trope in the way like cults really do interest me but I feel like it's like the new trendy thing to put in books but I do know this is kind of a backlist and with it being a horror book this might be a little bit different than like a thriller so sounds really interesting I'm really looking forward to this one so we'll see what happens and then the last one I just picked up I've heard a lot of people talk about this one and I got it for free I have Mirrorland by Carol Johnstone I actually got this because I worked an event for my company and when we do events they typically give you money to like buy lunch or drinks and things like that but I actually found a local bookstore here in my hometown it's so freaking cute and actually you can actually support that bookstore through Libro FM so I actually switched everything over to them so they can start receiving the proceeds but with that money that they gave me I actually picked up this one so I actually like supported a local bookstore I really want to go back there and see what else they have this one just sounds really interesting the only thing that kind of worries me it's like the whole like are they twins hang on yeah it's like twin sisters I don't know why but like Immediately when I think of twins, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a cliche. This one just has to do with like twin sisters and something happened in their past in this like notorious house that they grew up in. They had like this imaginary like land. I think they called it mirror land, obviously the title, but something happened to them to where they just don't speak anymore. And now they're having to go back because I think their parents have passed away. The addict is boarded up. Sounds super creepy and ominous. It is a short read, so I'm hoping to get to this one as well. All right, guys, that is all of the books I plan on reading for the month of May. I Again, I am super excited about this. I've got some thrillers. I've got some romance. I've got some horror books, some contemporary. Like, who am I? Like... I mean, come on. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in any of my thoughts about these books, I do plan on being on Gwen's live show with Lena from Lena's Bookshelves and Jordan from Sorry Book Solid. I am so excited to be back on Gwen's channel for a fun, interesting live show. So we will be talking about all the books that we read and you guys can get all the updates. Also, if I plan on unhauling any of these books, you can check out my Panko bookstore down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on another bookish video. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye! Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal